City of Delano is um, an ag-based community of about 50,000 people. And um, basically a lot of our uh, jobs within the city are based on our ag. When it comes to Delano, the Central Valley, water is our life. It feeds our community, it gives us jobs, it is the lifeblood of what is our future. Uh, the city of Delano is a good test site for nitrate treatment technology because they do have uh, issues with nitrate in the groundwater wells. Uh, and like many places in California and around the country, there's no good way to dispose of nitrate waste streams from the conventional nitrate treatment technologies. Uh, so it's a good fit for a technology that doesn't create a waste stream. So nitrate comes from a number of sources, including uh, farm usage around here, very much an agricultural area. That's the most common source for nitrates. We also can get it from septic tanks. The challenge is that it, it uh, affects our populations in various ways in a negative way. The main known health effect associated with nitrate is called blue baby syndrome. It's essentially a reduction in the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood. Uh, and this is a particular issue for infants. The capacity for oxygen in their blood decreases, so you lose the ability to uh, move oxygen throughout the body. Nitrate is one of, if not the most common groundwater contaminant across the United States. A biological treatment is really an old school concept of using naturally occurring bacteria, bacteria that are already in the groundwater, uh, letting them grow up into a biological reactor and using them to chew up the contaminant uh, and convert that contaminant to a completely harmless end product. You might call the, uh, the nitrate to these organisms kind of like a Hershey bar. They're able to utilize the energy that, that comes from that and um, that's how they grow. That's how they get the energy to grow. MCL stands for maximum contaminant level. It's essentially the standard that the EPA sets for a particular contaminant in the groundwater. This particular well has a, a nitrate treatment issue. Uh, it's uh, now above the legal limit for nitrates in the groundwater and so a treatment system has to be put in place in order for them to use this as a reliable source of groundwater for the drinking water system. So an important aspect of applying any new technology to a drinking water system uh, is that you've got to pilot test the system and you have to develop design criteria. We have been taking the biota system, looking at it at the pilot scale, uh, confirming and developing design criteria for the full scale system. There are two main reasons why the biota system is particularly green. One is that it converts contaminants to harmless byproducts. The second thing is that it's, the biota system requires very, very low energy to operate. The O&M costs on this system tend to be very low. We want to be able to put these systems in and then they just go. Uh, so the pilot testing showed that we can remove the nitrate from the groundwater very efficiently in short contact times. We used all those design criteria from that pilot study to build this full-scale system behind me. There couldn't have been any better results. It looked fantastic and so there's very little doubt going into a full scale when you have such good pilot work. You know, design was done very, very smoothly. The overall project came together in a very short period of time. Anywhere from the design to the manufacturing to the installation to now the, the system startup, everything has been very smooth and operating successfully. From the time that uh, we went into manufacturing, I believe it was around uh, 16 weeks from when we delivered the equipment to the site. Uh, and then from the time that equipment was delivered, it was about five to six months before the plant was fully constructed. And so what you see here is, is a relatively small system, um, but it's easily scalable and modular up to millions of gallons per day. Uh, I think the goal here is to make the bench version of what we tested work in a conventional setting. It's really a great thing for Delano to be able to use a well that they put in where they couldn't before, and now they'll get the benefit of that water. Every plant is the same to operate, just depends on how big it is. The goal is for this to become a demonstration facility and an education center for nitrate, the problem of nitrate, the challenges of where it is throughout the state of California, and a new solution that can be applied throughout the Central Valley and other locations around the state and around the country. You really want to turn to key operations, what this, the idea of this plant is, is you turn it on, it works, minimal supervision, minimal op operator interface, um, and that's, that's really the key to Biota. The facility's been operating for a little over a week, week and a half now. Uh, the nitrate's coming in at about 10 milligrams per liter, the, right at the limit. 
uh, coming out of the system is less than 0.2 milligrams per liter. So we're getting complete nitrate reduction. Uh, we have some optimization of the post-treatment left, but right now uh, everything look, is looking great in terms of the nitrate removal. A lot of the challenges that we foresaw are not going to be challenges, you know, for the process. Um, so it's going to be simpler for the process. And with that, you have a product that's that has a higher quality standard because it's replicated. We're able to bring it to the marketplace faster and you're gonna see a, a lower cost. The fact that this was the first and only um, plant of its kind and the fact that this technology to be able to implement it here in Delano, I mean, makes me feel proud in the sense that the community is seeing us to making sure we're providing a service. And not only are we providing a service, but we're looking out to the future. Uh, when you're implementing a brand new technology, uh, you always run into this issue of people want to go see a full-scale facility. They want to talk to the operators. They want to see it operating successfully. You need a full-scale track record. Uh, up to this point, we've not been able to point to a particular facility. Uh, and so it's been a barrier to uh, implementation of this technology. This uh, facility is going to help us overcome that. Uh, it's really going to open up some doors uh, toward implementation here in the Central Valley. Uh, across the state of California, uh, across the United States, and really uh, globally as well.